The Bible makes it very clear for you and I that he made a public show of them openly. So we are here this afternoon to declare the victory God through Jesus already won for you, won for me, won for the body of Christ. And listen to me, the day you got born again, you became a man and a woman that was already predestined to become victorious. You know how I know? Bible says whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Hallelujah. Are you not excited about that? That you are born of the Lord. And because you are born again, you are spiritual, you are born of the Holy Ghost, you overcome the world. You overcome the challenges of the world. And you are victorious in the name of Jesus. You are victorious in the name of Jesus. I want you to know there is victory for you this afternoon. You are no longer an ordinary person because victory has already been won on your behalf glory to god this afternoon as we continue with the enemies of our goal goal fighters they fight you god has placed a goal in your heart god has set great agenda in your spirit but at the same token understand that the enemy also have an agenda against you bible says he come and not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He has a threefold destiny against your destiny. The enemy has three goals against your purpose. He wants to steal that which God spoke to you clearly. That is why some of us are still not holding on to the word. Like Abraham, who received a word from God. God said, I'll make you a father of many nations. On his dying bed, he only saw one child. Yet Bible says he held on. Even in death, he still believed God. Would you still believe God in the dying moments of 2020 that the things God said concerning you will come to pass? Don't allow the enemy to steal the word God placed in your heart this season. His first ministry is to steal that which God spoke to you. His second ministry is to kill some of us, our desire, the passion and the fire we had concerning the things God spoke to us. The enemy has killed it. And so there is no more passion. I mean, think about it in January. When you read the things you wrote down, the things God inspired you to write concerning that business idea, it, it created fire within you like Jeremiah. Fire burning within your bones. And you went right onto the internet, researching, calling people, calling the Department of State, the, the appropriate department in your state, to, to get more information about that business idea God birthed in your spirit. But today, the enemy has killed that passion. And listen to me, his third ministry against us is to destroy. Now, your heart has been destroyed so much by the enemy, it's a bad taste in your mouth. You don't even want to have anything to do with the very thing God said he wants you to do. Some of you, God called you to fulfill a specific assignment in your church. The enemy has caused you to have all levels of confrontation, church hurt, offense and what have you to the degree that the thought of that ministry has left a bad taste in your mouth you don't want to have anything to do with that ministry yet deep within your heart and in your spirit you know it was god that spoke to you concerning fulfilling that ministry in the church and so if god gave you that assignment don't allow the enemy the devil himself to use anybody in the church to destroy that which God called you to do. I want you to know that your spiritual destiny is interconnected with every aspect of your destiny. And so don't hold back on the very things God has called you to do in this season. I want you to know something in the word of God. In fact, in the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 28, Bible gives us uh, um, a twofold reflection of what our desire must be and what the desire of the enemy could also be. Bible says the hope of the righteous or the expectation of the righteous shall be gladness but the expectation of the wicked shall perish i told you this week is a week of warfare that every expectation of the enemy against that which god is spoken to us will perish and today what i'm sharing with you yesterday we spoke about fighters of our time how the enemy fights our time but today i want to specifically to address the enemies of our resources 
those the enemy is sent to fight against our resources. Listen, whatever you have in your hands is what God gave you. And he wants you to use those things to propagate his agenda for you in this season. I'm talking about your spiritual gift. I'm talking about your divine abilities. I'm talking about your skill. I'm talking about the money God placed in your hands that the enemy has caused you to demean. You look at it as little money, but those are the little humble beginnings God starts us with. I'm talking about all the resources. Some of you is a car. Some of you is a machine. Some of you, it is something God has placed in your hands. Some of you, it is your laptop that God wants you to use in starting that business. But the enemy is attacking that laptop. He's attacking that car. That car has been sitting in a workshop. The enemy is attacking every resource God has placed in your hands. Please understand it is a determination of the enemy to fight that which God wants to do in this season. Hallelujah. Those things God placed in your hands, they are your resources. Yet the enemy is using those same things. He's coming after them, he's attacking them, and you don't even feel like using them. Anytime you want to put money on the side to start that business, that is the same time the enemy brings issues and situations in your family that eats the money. The enemy brings all kinds of enticing appetites in your life that takes away the money. And because of that, you are not able to move forward. It is the enemies that fight your resources that we are dealing with this afternoon glory to god and the bible says just as you have an expectation the enemy also has an expectation and as we go into prayer this afternoon i wanted to understand and see how the prodigal son compares with a frugal son bible says the prodigal son spoke to the father and said give me the portion that is mine Give it to me prematurely that I will take advantage. Some of you, God has given you the right portion of kingdom inheritance in your abilities, in your talents, in your skill, in wealth, in money, in resources, in cars, in a house. Some of you have all kinds of resources. Even your education could be a resource. But just like the prodigal son, he took his portion of inheritance and Bible says he went out there and spent them on riotous living. What are you doing with your portion of inheritance that is given to you? Are you spending them in places where you are supposed to invest them? Or you are spending them on riotous living, luxurious living? Buying more than you can afford, using them for unproductive ventures. Is that what it's meant for? This afternoon, those are entities of darkness. For some of you, it could be as simple as an agent of the kingdom of God that always causes you to spend out of your means. Buying clothing, buying fashion, buying things that you don't really need. They are enemies that fight your resources. But this afternoon, as we pray, every fighting agent that fights your resources coming down. Because those resources, God placed them in your hands to project you, to lift you, and to build you up for the next level of your life. But what are we doing with those resources God placed in our hands? I want you to pray with me this afternoon. That every entity of darkness that is fighting our goals and specifically fighting our resources will bring them down. Bible says no weapon that is fashioned against us shall prosper. And in prayer and in judgment and in decreeing the word of God, we will destroy every work of the enemy. So you know what is fighting your resources. Is it fashion? Is it appetite for things that you don't need? Some of you will need to downsize on, on your cable bill, on your telephone bill, on your internet bill. There are things you have become addicted to that you don't need. They are eating up your resources. They are entities of darkness that are fighting your goals. It's the 
reason why your goals for this year has still not been fulfilled. And this afternoon we come against, we fight them for the place of victory. And we destroy every work of the enemy that seeks to destroy our resources, our financial resources, the resources of skill, the resources of abilities, the resources of gifting that the enemy has sent all kind of canker web, power web, and caterpillar to eat up our resources. This afternoon, we redeem our resources. We redeem our resources. We redeem every resource given to us by God to project us into the next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, every agent of the kingdom of darkness, whether be it a caterpillar, whether be it a power worm, whether be it any worm, any canker worm that eats up our resources, our financial resources. This afternoon as we pray, we command each of them to break out, to break out, to break out in the mighty name of Jesus. And we redeem our resources. We redeem every resource given to us by God to move our destiny, our ministry, our family, our business, our career to the next level. We speak for the blood of the Lamb that redeems, that atoning blood to redeem our resources from the hands of the enemy. We take back what the enemy stole from us. We take back what the enemy has taken hold of and we redeem our resources this afternoon in the mighty name of jesus glory to god listen to me child of god the lord speaks clearly in the book of jeremiah 29 verse 11 he says he has good plans concerning us and the plans he has if we will follow through bible says it will bring us to an expected end listen he says he will crown your year with all goodness with all joy our year 2020 must be crowned and God is bringing you to that crowning moment. And even as we engage in warfare, God is redeeming everything that has the fingerprints of the enemy. He's redeeming, he's buying back, he's taking from the hands of the enemy by the precious blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And I thank God for your life, even as you see your wealth given to you as a kingdom member being redeemed out of the hands of the enemy you're going to see change in your finances the days of luck is going to be over the days of death is going to be over and you are going to walk in the provisions of god even in this season if you believe it i wanted to type amen in the comment bo box i wanted to take a moment share this video with somebody if this video what we did here right now by the word and by prayer became a blessing to you I wanted to share this video to somebody. Somebody might be going through something worse than what you thought you were, you, you were going through. And as you share this video with them, they are also going to be impacted and deliverance is going to come their way. Listen to me, child of God. Your victory is right here. I look forward to connecting with you right here same time tomorrow as we engage in warfare against those who fight against those things God is seeking to do even in this season. Our very goals god is going to defeat every single one of them in this season i will see you here tomorrow by the grace of god 12 o'clock for our midday connection until then grace and peace to you shalom